Let's just pray. Heavenly Father, we ask that you would be with us as we look at today's sermon. May you teach us in what we're doing. Amen. I want us to look at the back there. You see up top there. I was hoping one of the older children would come up, but they're all too scared. They, it's not cool to come up to the front. So they're sitting in the back there. But we have recruiting volunteers, the church way. So the first one is we advertise, put in the pew leaflet, or as you see the notice board outside. The second one is, so the parable of the winning Sunday school volunteer making subtle references. The third one is getting excited existing volunteers to bring in their friends. <laughs> Targeting individuals waiting to pounce. I know that's one of the main reasons people don't come for tea after the service. Otherwise, we'll have to close it down making threats. Then, we have the one over there. Sorry, I can't see that last one in the corner there. But asking for volunteers or thinking that everybody's going to come up. Don't forget, this is the one that works the best with the group that we have. That is bribery. Volunteers only, sweets. Otherwise, flattery. You'll be brilliant at this. And then the other one is using the carrot. We always put that out there. The last one is using a stick. You'll get this wand. And I suppose that's what today is all about. Today we looking, we start our season in the old fashion of stewardship. But I don't want to call it stewardship. I want to look at it as God's mission. Because that's what it is. It's actually God's mission. <coughs> And it's not just about money. It's about time, it's about talent, and it's about money. So we need to understand our priorities. And our priorities that we have are things like God, work, family, ministry, and things like that. So Winston Churchill said, we make a living by what we get. But we make a life by what we give. So if we, don't get, if we don't get our giving sorted out, we will not get our life sorted out. Now, I want to use, I just want to squeeze in here, guys. And I want to use this as an example. This is our life. And this rice represents those stuff. What do you think is stuff? Stuff is stuff. What do you think is stuff? Stuff is stuff. That's stuff. But what else? What do you think in your life is stuff? You know, those movies that we have to go see. Memories are actually the big ones over here. Yeah, we're going to leave that to stuff. But this is things like making sure that we get that other takeaway, you know? The McDonald's or the Kentucky Fried Chicken. Despite the fact that Mama has cooked. It's bad for you. Yes, it's bad for you. <laughs> but it's all those other things that we all have. And from KFC. And KFC, I agree with you. KFC. But we have also in our life important things. KFC is a bad Now, what do you think these are? What are these guys? Onions. They're onions. And I've chosen onions on purpose. So important things are things like God, family, life. What about ministry? Oh dear, we've got work. Um, how are we going to get work in here? And we have to squeeze it in. What about joy? It's not going in. And we've still got... Those other three things, you know, the holidays, vacations. Now there's one of two ways that we can solve this problem. And the first way is the way most of us solve this problem. And that is, what we do is we make these smaller. So we 
cut them off. Now who, who can tell me what happens if you, hey guys, what happens if you chop up an onion? Um, it's going to make can... you chilly in your mouth. It's going to make you no, cry. It makes you cry. And so by actually making our things, important things in our life smaller, you know what it actually makes us sad. It actually harms us. It actually makes things not that nice. And so there's another way of doing it. That is, let's get rid of all the stuff. All the stuff us on the side there. Oh, there's still some more. And now we're going to put in those important things. Let's just leave those important things here. Yeah. But what we put in all the important things. Race? We do that first. Yeah. Right. What about and now we take the stuff that's left over and we pour it in. Put it in, put it in. We need all the important things in. And you pour it in. And what's happening, guys? It's raining. It's raining rice. <laughs> but what's happening? The onions are gone. The onions aren't gone. The onions are inside the rice. The onions are inside the rice. Yes. The important stuff is there and the other stuff is there too. Because we've realigned our life so that the important stuff go in first and everything else goes around it. And yes, I see maybe this is the appointment to go to the hairdresser. We don't actually need to do. And, and this one... This is, instead of going to the 2D movie, it's going to, oh, instead of going to the 3D movie, it's going to the 2D movie. <laughs> and those are the things. So, what we're trying to do here is we need to remember that in this time, the Israelites, when they gave, they gave of their fruit, first fruit. What they gave of their first fruit was important. Because they had to give in faith. They had to give in faith to believe that God would not cause a drought or a hailstorm. And they gave generously. We've moved away from that. We've moved into a freedom. We don't need to tithe. But we have the freedom to give as we need. But remembering, as I said in the beginning... Giving is not just about money, but it's about giving of our time and giving of our talents. And so we have that up there, the volunteers, which we'll talk about in another couple of weeks' time. I got time. the worst one out. You got the worst one out. That's good. And so in conclusion, in this month of the church mission, let's look at how God is challenging each one of us to be good stewards. How can we get involved and give towards God's work every day and through the work of St. Wilfred's? Amen.